I'm your neighborhood reporter, John Hart. Are you looking to buy an electric vehicle? Well, with an announcement made today, charging stations like this will be more accessible throughout the Lansing area. This is the technology of the future. On Friday morning, Lansing Mayor Andy Shore, accompanied by the CEO of Lansing Board of Water and Light, Dick Peffley, and Federal Highway Administrator Shailen Bott, announced a grant of $8 million, increasing electric vehicle charging stations throughout the greater Lansing area. Grant dollars will also be used for planning and developing initiatives and public education of EV technology. According to Mayor Andy Shore, this is all a part of a plan to create a synergy between EV production and EV infrastructure in our neighborhoods. This is coming. We're making the batteries here. We expect to be making the cars here. Uh, so when you have that, that car that can drive, you know, three, four hundred miles, if someone comes to Lansing, they need to be able to charge. He added that Lansing beat out several communities to receive this grant. According to Bat, the city was chosen in large part due to its distribution plan. Lansing just told uh, a really compelling story about how they would effectively deploy these for maximal benefit uh, for the community. This initiative is a massive undertaking for Lansing. However, Peffley says that his team is ready to roll. It does require some upgrading of lines because you're drawing more energy in areas that didn't used to see electric loads, but we're ready for that. BWL's Carbon Neutrality Programs Manager, Anna Muni, is excited about this EV charging initiative and knows the benefits of owning an electric vehicle on a personal level. They are fun to drive, they're fast, they have a lot of great technology, and they're just really kind of that next generation in technology that I think everyone's going to be really excited about once they have a chance to drive one. I spoke with Administrator Bat, who told me that it'll be at least six months until we see these chargers becoming a widespread reality in our neighborhoods. Reporting from Lansing, I'm your neighborhood reporter, John Hart.